What would a parallel universe even be like? Our universe is one heck of a place. Shrouded in mystery, scientists have tried since time immemorial to understand our place in the vastness of space. This search has led many astronomers and philosophers in ancient times to wonder whether or not humans are the only living species out there. And while we still have no idea how big the universe actually is, where we are in it and what's located all around us, most people would agree on the notion that given the massive size of the universe, we know it's big, but not how big. Is it ludicrous to think we are the only living species out there? But what if this was just a fraction of what's truly out there? What if our universe is just one of many? And they're all bouncing off each other like mind-numbing gargantuan marbles, each with their own weird laws of physics. Welcome to Googleplex, and here is what would a parallel universe even be like. The idea of a multiverse purposes that an infinite amount of universes, including the one we're living in, exist in parallel to each other. These universes differ in a variety of physical properties, featuring multiple Big Bangs, space bubbles, and maybe even an alternate version of you watching this video in a world run by slugs. The multiverse hypothesis has been so far been impossible to test, but has supporters among such scientists as Stephen Hawking, Michio Kaku, Neil deGrasse Tyson, and Leonard Susskind. It sounds like the stuff of science fiction novels and movies, doesn't it? There have certainly been enough of those over the years to twist the minds of readers and viewers everywhere. But is the idea of a parallel universe just make-believe? Yes, this is a bizarre idea. But bizarreness alone is not reason to reject it. If the multiverse model were correct, the universe we live in is only one bubble among innumerable bubbles all popping in and out of the quantum foam which is the foundation for all existence. Some could be four-dimensional like ours, while others could curl up into seven, eleven, or more. In one bubble universe, you might really be flying off in all directions, whereas in this one Newtonian and Einsteinian physics lay out the parameters. So what would a parallel universe even look like? What if the forces between particles were too weak and the atoms that make up all matter in our universe never got the chance to form in another one? But if we're considering that there could be infinite parallel universes out there, then maybe we have a monkey typewriter situation on our hands, which means, statistically speaking, there could be a universe where time flows backwards or a universe that contains another you, but ever so slightly skewed. This means that there's probably a universe where you were never born, but everything else is the same, or perhaps your mother had extra brothers and sisters for you, in which case your family is much larger. Maybe in one parallel universe, dinosaurs never became extinct. Indeed, humans themselves might have become extinct in certain parallel universes. In other words, maybe Hitler won the war. Some scientists go way beyond asking about other forms of life. Parallel universe is a possibility of many opportunities. Alternate realities may also encompass time such that the time and the speed of light run slower in one world, faster in another, whereas in yet other universes time runs backwards or endless futures have already taken place, one reality being you moments in the future, in another you are minutes or days, weeks, months, years in the future, living your life in the future that is still in the future. Now this can be compared to sitting in a room listening to radio. When you listen to radio, you hear many frequencies. They exist simultaneously all around you in the room. However, your radio is only tuned to one frequency. In the same way, in your living room, there is the wave function of dinosaurs. There is the wave function of aliens from outer space. There is the wave function of the Roman Empire because it never fell 1500 years ago. All of this coexists in your living room. However, just like you can only tune into one radio channel, you can only tune into one reality channel, and that is the channel that you exist in. 
So, in some sense, it is true that we coexist with all possible universes. The catch is, we cannot communicate with them. We cannot enter these universes. But despite their possible plentitude, not all those parallel universes are likely to be blessed with biology. As many scientists have pointed out, our universe, known by the catchy name, the universe, seems pretty special. Its physical properties are remarkably suitable for the existence of life. If the forces that hold atoms together were even a bit different, the atomic reactions that power the stars wouldn't work, and our cosmos would consist of nothing but hydrogen. Tweak these constants another way, and stars would burn themselves out so quickly that there would have been no time for the evolution of microbes, dinosaurs, or you. If the strength of gravity were just slightly altered, our universe would have either expanded too rapidly after the Big Bang for stars and galaxies to form, or would have collapsed in a big crunch. These are just a few examples of coincidences that have made our universe so suitable for your existence. But if the nuclear or gravitational forces are quite different, those other universes might be as sterile as seedless grapes. In other words, we still don't know if many universes will be hospitable to life, or very few. In other words, we and all our biological brethren live in a cosmos that won the lottery. You, me, and all the other flora and fauna of the universe should be grateful. But there are significant chances that some life-fostering planets are present in a parallel universe. Earlier researchers believed that extremely strict conditions are required to support the existence of life. As scientists have discovered that there are infinitely many universes around us, the conditions for life have become a little broader. Taking all of this into consideration, an international group of scientists ran a massive computer simulation to build new universes under various conditions, where dark energy was a determining factor. According to scientists, dark energy is a mysterious and invisible force that exists in the empty spaces of our universe. You could think about it as the arch nemesis of gravity. While gravity pulls matter closer together, dark energy flings it apart, and dark energy is winning this cosmic tug of war handily. To the surprise of the authors, it turned out that life could come into existence in more scenarios than researchers had anticipated. Interdimensional aliens are objectively more awesome than regular aliens, so that's pretty cool. What would a parallel universe be like? Give us your thoughts in the comment section and don't forget to give this video a like and share it with your friends and click subscribe to stay with Googleplex.